So I go to mixing. I pick the mix I want. In this case, let's do mix two. And then I just press the roller and I get into the mix. And then I could do, let's say, AX1 to AX3. Oh, wait a minute. You wanted AX3 to AX1. So let's do that. AX3 to AX1. And then you set the rate to 100%. You set the rate in the other direction to 100%. So you get, you know, what's the rate for on the, the upper half and the lower half, I guess that's what it means. So there you go. And then you set the offset to 100% as well. Now, if we do that, we should get to a situation where, and it might not work now because I think I have another mix in here, but yeah, we, you see now, okay, so what I need to do in this case, bear with me here. What I need to do here is to remove this old mix I had here. Now, here we go. So, disregard that. So, here's my mix two, which is what we just did. Now, mix two does AX3 to AX1. If you look now, AX, when I turn the knob here, AX3 and AX1 move together. So to summarize, you go into mixing, you select an unused mix, you click, once, once you have the cursor blinking on that particular mix, you click the, the or you press the, the wheel, that gets you into the mixing screen and here's where you could select what you want to mix to what, and then you select the rates, and, and then you're done. So that's how you mix AX3 to AX1, which was the question that I wanted to answer with this. Thanks.